Retain possession. Curving and he scores! This is the Lacrosse Show with Paul Rabel and Paul Carcaterra on Sirius XM College Sports Nation and the Sirius XM app. Come with me now. I mentioned earlier in the show, an awesome time in lacrosse because a lot of the states are crowning their champions. We'll talk to one of the state champions from Victor, New York, that's outside of Rochester, Jamie Tromboli, uh, one of the best young midfielders in the nation. He's a junior entering his senior year, and he's verbally committed to Syracuse University. So when we get back, we will talk to the Rochester, New York stud. This is the lacrosse show on Sirius XM, Channel 91, College Sports Nation. I'm Kansas State football coach Bill Snyder. You're listening to Sirius XM College Sports Nation, Channel 91. All college sports, all the time. The only national radio show dedicated to lacrosse. This is the Lacrosse Show with Paul Rabel and Paul Carcaterra on Sirius XM College Sports Nation and the Sirius XM app. Welcome back. Every Tuesday night, live, 7 p.m., winter, spring, summer, and fall, we are talking lacrosse. And this time of the year, PR, it is awesome because all of the states have their state titles, state championships, and there's just a ton of competition. And one state that's always led the way is New York. And outside of Rochester, a school called Victor has started lacrosse back in 1994, was kind of off the beaten path, not a major fixture, but there's been an influx of talent in Rochester, New York, and one of the best young players in the state is Jamie Tromboli. He is a junior at Victor. Victor just won the New York State Championship this past Saturday, beat Manhasset, a Long Island power out of the state of New York, 17-8, to and Jamie Tromboli all over the field making plays. Jamie, thanks for joining us, buddy. Thanks for having me. You know, Jamie, uh, you look at Victor, and it's a it's a school that a lot of people never really heard of. I just mentioned you, you started uh, lacrosse in 1994, which is kind of late. A, a lot of programs in the state, in upstate New York, Rochester, Syracuse, been around for 50, 60 years. With this young group, and as you guys kind of went up the ranks, when did you realize that a state title could actually come under your watch while you were in high school? Well, last year we made a run as sophomores. A bunch of us were all, there was like eight or nine of us sophomores last year playing in the state semi. So we knew we had a good team. We knew we were returning a lot this year. So we knew that if we worked hard in the offseason and listened to our coaches and we were practicing hard every week, that we could get back there and hopefully win that game this time and move on to the state finals and bring it home, which luckily we did. So. It's a big, uh, it's it's a big moment. Congratulations, and and uh, you know it's it is definitely a we sport as a team. But how did how did you grow personally from one season to the next as a player and leader? Um, just I have great role, great role models of seniors on the team are definitely great role models. So, and our coaching staff really preaches playing as a team and working together. So I knew I had to listen to them and try and walk us. Walk us through a workout when when a coach you know and, or a leader you know and and they're and they're pushing you guys and and you're in the in the high school weight room. What are some of the things you guys are working on? We lift once a week, once or twice a week during the season, but a lot more in the off season. They don't want to have our bodies tight. So in season lifting is just basic stuff, injury prevention, and we all where everyone's working hard, everyone's sweating. So it's a good team building experience, and it's definitely I think it definitely helped us a lot. Coach Andre really. Stepped up the, uh, the in season lifting this year, and I think it really helped us late in the year with uh, the whole state run. So it was a good, it was a good experience. It's Jamie Tromboli, junior at Victor High School outside of Rochester, just won the New York State title. He's on the lacrosse show with Paul Rabel and myself, Paul Carcaterra. Jamie, uh, you mentioned that you had some good role models, kind of outside of the seniors and Victor lacrosse and that Rochester community. Who is a player, maybe in the mainstream's game, that you kind of look up to and emulate? Definitely Mr. Rabel right here, definitely, for sure. I've been following him since a little kid, watching YouTube videos online, trying to emulate everything he's done. So he's definitely been a major role model in my lacrosse career. So it's awesome talking to me today. I appreciate you guys having me on a lot. It's good well, stuff. I appreciate you know, that. You know, PR, I, like I got to ask... say this. PR, I got to Go say ahead. this. You, you go on Inside Lacrosse, you watch the highlights. The kid has some some kind of similar 
type game that you had in high school. You know, that rangy type midfielder loves right. to play up top. He can feed the rock, and, and that's great. Jamie, I'm going to piggyback on that question. What is it about Paul's game that you kind of look at, break down on film, and then when you get onto the field or the practice mode that you're actually putting to, to, to task? That's how he's always bringing the emotion. He's always there with his team. That's helping his helping team. It's obviously always in attacking mode. He's always attacking the cage. And he's creating for other people, creating for himself, and that's how I like to play my game. I like to definitely create and see what I can do. And I definitely learned a lot from him. So. Jamie, Jamie, you're a, you're a multi-sport guy, correct? Yes, sir. Football. So talk about the influence that football's had because we have so many conversations on this show about uh, you know the younger generations you know focusing on one sport and you know limiting potentially their athletic growth. What has football done for you, and and how do you continue to you know to, to balance you know a, a high goal that you set for yourself at for yourself at playing at Syracuse University, being able to realize that and also enjoy other sports. Um, I've always loved football ever since I was a kid, and this is my coming up senior year, so it's going to be a tough one. But I knew that football made me look cross play and today with all the toughness and keeps me in shape in the off season. And it's really it made me learn how much of a team, what how much important a team is, because football is really the ultimate team sport, and it's created the leadership in me. And hopefully, I can translate that and look cross to the next level. So football has definitely helped a lot. Jamie Trimboli, uh, rising senior at Victor. His high school team just won the New York State title uh, this past Saturday, a 17-8 to dominating performance against Manhasset, who's been a Long Island power for decades. Jamie, uh, you decided early in your high school career to attend Syracuse University. You have a verbal commit uh, to the Orange. You'll go about an hour and 20 minutes uh, on uh, Route 90 and, and, and go to the Dome to play your, your college games. Why did you pick Syracuse? Um, ever since, since I've been watching, ever since I got into lacrosse in my second or third grade, Syracuse has always been a team to watch. It's always left the road. So it's always been my dream to go there. And luckily, it's through the exposure I got, it, like your Maverick camp and all other top five camps and stuff like that, they're able to come in contact with me and, Luckily, make my dream come true. So it was, it was a lot. It was awesome. Full recruiting experience was insane. But it's awesome to finally land what felt like home. It's right down the road, and it's always been my dream. So it was an easy decision in the end. Jamie, last one for me. Your your commitment's done. You, you're coming off a championship. You're entering your senior year. What's the summer like for you uh, now that you know m most of? Yeah, I, I guess I would say that the recruiting events are, are out of the way at this point. Mainly just focusing on finishing out my game and getting ready for the college because college is so much faster and everyone's got to play so much faster and a different pace. So. You have to perfect your game before you go up there. You can't go up there just expecting to play like you did in high school. Everything's got to be everything's got to be better, or faster, left hand, right hand. So you really got a lot to work on. You got to go in conditions, and hopefully everything, all your skills are perfected, and you go in to the best of your ability and see we in fact you can make it professional. So. Well, great stuff, Jamie. Congratulations on the state title. Congratulations on being named an All American as a junior. We'll be following you next year, and certainly when you head up to the Dome and play for the Orange. Great stuff, buddy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Jamie Tromboli, Victor High School, just won the New York State title. And, and PR, it's, it's great. You know, it, we always have college coaches, professional athletes, um, icons in the sport. Sometimes, for me, it's refreshing to go back and, and to think about my days as a high school lacrosse player. I grew up in Yorktown, which was a power in Westchester County, and, and we were fortunate to win – uh, in, in my sophomore, junior, senior year, three straight uh, New York State titles. And, and I think back at this time of the year, and any time I'm following high school lacrosse and I see the New York State finals, I know how much passion and emotion goes into it. So to get a young kid and to hear uh, from him, it, it's, it's really rewarding, especially based on the fact that Victor w was not a known commodity uh, in lacrosse four or five six years ago this is a young group of kids he's got like seven eight kids in his junior class who just decided to play youth league at the same time and they've come up the ranks and they are just dominating yeah well i think it's really exciting and it's uh it's good on you too for 
for having that wherewithal in, in terms of, you know, always talking about how can we, how can we grow this game? Well, kind of case in point too, I, I think, uh, 12 years ago when I was in high school and committed to Hopkins, I would have never had an opportunity to hop on, you know, the college lacrosse show, um, on Sirius XM, you know, with, with Paul Carcaterra and the current kind of, um, MLL player at the time. It just didn't exist. So that type of exposure at, at a younger level is, is great for the game. And it'll be great experience for him to have been on a national broadcast like that. And, you know, as he continues to be a great player, it'll, it'll only keep coming. No doubt. So when we get back, we'll be talking more Major League Lacrosse. Big weekend in Major League Lacrosse. The All-Star Game heads down to the Lone Star State in Texas. In Houston, Texas, Major League Lacrosse will invade uh, that state, and it will be uh, an epic opportunity for the sport to, to continue to grow on all fronts. So when we get back, more Major League Lacrosse on the docket. This is the Lacrosse Show on Sirius XM, Channel 91, Power Sports Nation. <laughs> 